Well, first of all, talk us through the last move of the game. Uh, yeah, it was. Uh, you know, we fought hard to get back in a position where we could have sneak, sneaked the win, and yeah, it was a lovely line by Corey, and yeah, I think it was the right place, right time. Raf seemed to give a knock on initially. You had to persuade him to uh, rethink. Yeah, I, th- I knew it wasn't a knock on, but you know, it was a uh, yeah, it was a uh, bit of luck. But I think overall, I think we deserved the victory. What about the the whole process of adapting to life then without your international players? How do you think it went tonight? Yeah, it's always tough to lose, you know, such experience. Which you know, we got so many internationals. But as a young squad tonight, all, you know, we were fantastic, and you know. We sh- even though it was a young squad, we showed maturity and sort of composure to uh, to grind out the victory, a bonus point victory in the end. After the flying start that you got, kind of came back strongly in the last 20. What was the feeling on the field in the closing moments of the game? Yeah, you know, it was a bit of a deceiving wind out there, and <clears throat> I thought first half we, you know, we controlled the game from, you know, we had in our half, and I think second half we started to panic, I think a bit, but you know, like I said earlier, we showed the composure to. You know, the last five minutes not to panic, you know, believe in our process and, you know, we got the bonus point victory, which we're absolutely thrilled with. What was it like playing at Bridge End, 5,000 crowd, which would have rattled around the Liberty Stadium, but uh, felt pretty full at the brewery field? Yeah, it's always nice to, you know, nice to play in uh, Bridge End. It's, uh, yeah, it's nice to get out sort of around the region and, yeah, it was a fantastic support tonight and, yeah, you know, it was a very vocal 5,000 and, you know, we spurred us on until the, till the 80th minute, which... We need it. For yourself, do you feel the need, you know, to put a take on a bit, res- bit more responsibility on games like this when a lot of the the more experienced players are away? <clears throat> yeah, you know, I'm probably one of the most experienced in the squad, so yeah, I feel, you know, I have to lead by example in a way. So yeah, I've, I'm enjoying it, and yeah, hopefully we can uh, build on this uh, performance tonight. Glasgow, your next opponents, they had a big win down in Swansea last year, so uh, you owe them a few. Oh yeah, as long as it's not a repeat of that, and yeah, I think you know we got we got a bit of confidence, and you know the Liberty is a, a good place for us at the moment, and yeah, we'll be going into that game uh, full of confidence. And at least Glasgow will be probably minus a few as well. Yeah, I think yeah, there'll be a lot uh, minus a few. So yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's going to be an interesting game, which you know we're excited for. Dan, how do you uh, keep your standards so high? You know, given your repeated rejections by Wales, and how do you stay motivated? Uh, well, it's just to play for the Ospreys is, you know, an achievement in itself. So I'm, you know, I've been out for a couple of weeks. It's, uh, it's killed me. So it's, uh, yeah, I just, you know, I'm hungry and I just want to keep putting performances for the Ospreys. And, you know, I'm, I'm enjoying it. So as long as I'm keeping enjoying it, then I'm happy. And who impressed you out there, your young players? <clears throat> um, you know, it's all of them really. I think Harry showed real maturity, and you know, he's. A typical nine, the right place, right time to have his try, and you know Tian put a good performance in against you know an Irish international and a you know proven, proven uh, seasoned performer against Bandiaki, and I thought you know he did excellent, and yeah, I think you know the boys, not just the young boys, the boys who you know the squad players who don't regularly play week in week out, I think they you know they were important for us tonight, and you know their sort of desire to win you know showed in the end. Because on paper that looked a little bit of a mismatch, Bundy Aki against an 18-year-old lad, but he did do quite well, didn't he? Yeah, and you know, it's if you want to be the best, you've got to play against the best sometimes. So yeah, I think he'll take some confidence from that, and you know, hopefully, he can, he can build on that as long along with a few of the other squad players. And yeah, we've got to build on it now, and it's a, it's a massive game next week before we have a couple of weeks off. You missed in 20 players tonight. Is that one of the most notable team efforts you've been a part of? Yeah, you know, to come, you know, to you know, against a, a you know, a, a good uh, corner team, which you know, they're never an easy team to beat, and yeah, to have a bonus point victory in the end is, you know, we showed that you know we're going in the right direction.